and welcome back to my channel if you're new here or you're a returning viewer who is not yet subscribed what's stopping you please subscribe to the channel and join the family to those of you who've already joined the family and subscribed to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and your views and your subscriptions mean the world to me so as you can tell from the title of the video and from the name of the channel my name is Maud Chifama and today we're going to be talking about exam tips all right so here in Zim uh, the government has announced that because this is the final year of the old curriculum uh, from all level and a level exams are to go on in, in June uh, I totally don't feel like that is safe or that is necessary but it is what it is so I just thought to just come on here and to talk to give um, some exam tips given that it's now like a month away from exams and people haven't really been going to school so there's a difference between study tips and exam tips so I did a video on study tips and now today is exam tips study tips are for you you're studying because you want to be knowledgeable you want to know things but exam tips, it's different goal. You are studying because you want to pass. You want that paper. So there's a difference between exam tips and study tips. I just thought to make that clear so that people will be like, wait, what was the other video? Now you know and you can't ask. All right, so tip number one is going to be I need you need to believe in yourself that you are capable of passing these exams. And um, I, being... A resident member of the fire extinguishers club uh, the fire extinguishers club is that club that uh, studies to put off some fires that we have started so that's what we used to call it when we were in college if you are the a person who is now studying because exam or the time of the exam time of has been released or because the exams are like two three four weeks away you are part of the fire extinction club and that club that doesn't sleep the night before the exam mm, resident okay so you need to believe in yourself because it sets the mood it sets the tone even when you're a bit behind time or um, yeah something like that you need to actually believe in yourself because then you can do it when you believe you can do it you won't have the war and you can go out there and actually write that exam then the second thing is now you have a timetable an exam timetable and now you know you need to take stock of what do you have what do you know and what don't you know so that you make a study plan a study timetable now it's very very important so you need to have a, a realistic plan you need to know yourself and so you know your your peak times and you know when you are very effective in studying so you would rather actually use that because it's going to be for a few weeks before the exam so you need to to, to come up with a study timetable that speaks to your peak times and speaks to what you don't know now this study timetable should also make sure that you don't forget what you already know in the process so you might need to put in a bit of time into those topics that you will get your guru in but you know you need them for the exam um, so you need to just put on some time to just brush up and to finish up on those topics all right so the other thing that you need which is tip number three is you need to know your sweet spots so here's what my brother told me when i was about to write form four he said to me for you to pass form four you just need to know six topics and you will go and pass an all of an exam paper and then there are things that you know are always going to come in the exam so by the time i wrote, i don't know what this curriculum thing is going on we always knew there was going to be a construction we used to call it construction construction question there's going to be a transformation question and then as we as you grow older you all when i was now form six doing um, mathematics i always knew there was going to come uh, there was going to be a question on complex numbers um, so for every subject you can always tell what is going to be there there's there's that one thing that you know that the examiners are going to actually uh, ask it so even for a level accounting I remember there was process costing and it has been asked for the past three four exam periods so I knew it was going to come so you can't go to the exam without knowing those sweet spots all right so know your sweet spots for every subject what you need to know all right then the other tip which is number four is i will need you to explore groups all right i've never been a groups person i don't like 
groups sometimes give me pressure, make me feel like I don't know what I'm doing because some people know and probably by that time I haven't started that topic yet. But for me, it's it's good towards the dying days because you get a different perspective without applying so much effort. So you just go to the group and this person saying that and that person saying that and that person saying that. So while it might crowd you out, it also helps for you to get different perspectives without them going to read for yourself A, B, C, D books. So try to find books. Then the fourth tip is use flashcards. We used to get a paper. I used to get a paper that I would fold in between. So, and then I would write my notes and don't know what I'm building, the formulas, I'm making uh, what I'm studying like a story and then I'm just taking out the key things that I need to know so it keeps you focused like flashcards not writing all those notes that you have been writing before school you just make your flashcards and use those to, to, to study then the last tip is believe in God because as a human there's only so much that you can do and God can take it from there so pray when it used to get so hard um, I would go on the bedside and kneel down and pray when it was about exam time and always had to i always said bye bye charamba putting in the background <laughs> to give me power to say i had divine powers with me so those are some of the exam tips that i have thought i should share with you guys let me know what you think in the comment section and be good, study well, and treat this as if it's your life. Do not forget to subscribe because it is your life. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more content.